Angry Testy. Fucking job. God damn it. Oh, this is. is Alright, so I'll try it again. I've done I've done this before though. I have like thirty educational shadow blade games now. But if we're going to do educational shadow blade, so let's see. I generally use mostly my E in lane. And I still get a hatchet on him, even though I often toss it away quite quickly. It's just an extra little boost. That's quite nice on him. You could skip hatchet, it's not a necessity by any means. So here the first thing I re I, I recognize is that oh god. I'm in danger. Is that they have a Kronos Empath, so I may hate life soon if they get good and farmed. I'm gonna just push the wave, try and get a rune because I'm kind of kind of low here. I don't know if this still exists, and it does. Now rather than saving this, I'm just going to pop it right away, for laziness sake. Never get lazy in your game, so... Because I'm just going to go get another rune soon anyway. He has his shell up. So I'm not going to die with Solstice there, because I don't see the point in it. I might just help him out. He should... JK, it worked. <clears throat> recharges. I'll adapt to any shape necessary. Yep, I'll go get it in a sec. Madman's still bottom, so uh, you can, but I don't think you should. It's up to you. Less to tear and bones to eat. You don't have to stand by it, just do everything. Alright. So you notice on Shadowblade I almost always build power supply and vestments, and that's because throughout most of the game you have just a ton of HP and you, as soon as you get level like 6 to 10 or whatever, you're usually the strongest hero on the map and nothing can nothing can really kill you 1v1. You'll notice I always play him as a mid solo. Uh, he's fine in the safe, the safe lane as a carry, but I really like giving him solo experience so that he can, he can make it to every fight. Because right? if you give him solo experience, uh, he gets a lot more from his Q. So he can get into like virtually any fight you ever want to get into, right? So here I'm just gonna try and force him back. Because we've gained an advantage in our lane. And he did use his shell save. I do not have enough mana for my E though. There we go. So this time when we dove, they were a little more ready for it. And they brought some help. Oh, sorry, he's carrying. 
So yeah, one of the things we did correctly this game that we normally don't do correctly is they put Empath Kronos top uh, instead of running Kronos Suicide. Personally, I think Kronos is a much stronger carry than he is a Suicider, but he's still very good Suicide just because of the utility of his ultimate for the most part. And because, you know, he can escape and get levels or whatever. But for the most part, he makes a much better carry than a Suicide Hero. So he's one of the carries I personally hate going up against because if he gets complete free farm, he freezes time, and there's really not much he can do about it. So what we did is we sent a dual lane up against Kronos, which is good. Uh, I really Kronos himself, he doesn't have really insane lane lane strength. So if you send some strong laners against him, you can at least mess with his farm so that he doesn't carry the game in 20 minutes or 30 minutes, right? So anyway, I'm kind of hurting for mana, which is why I'm not using my uh, That's because someone took some runes that they shouldn't have taken, but that's fine. So rather than pushing this particular wave at 7.30, I'm just gonna wait it out and try and push the next one so that I can go get rune. So here I'm getting early vestments and a TP. I don't really need the TP, I'm not going to have mana to do anything, but it'll be nice to have just in case they go on me or something and I need the TP out. And I'm taking so much harass right here just by farming that if they do go on me I probably will just die. Okay, wait for our Q to run out. Illusion. Pop our illusion. Our power Always use your illusions to either farm or scout. Do something with them, right? Shadow. Give yourself some vision on the map. Smackdown. So here I'm just looking for Legionnaire. Notice when we use our power supply, we switch our treads to agility as well, just to get more HP out of it. You can also drop your treads and stuff, but... Just for the extra small gains, right? And now it looks like Bubbles is kind of baiting here. But we didn't do anything, so whatever. Your mini map isn't hidden, by the way. Yeah. I'll, I'll shut it off if it, we start getting counter warded a lot. So, yeah, in pretty much every game, it's Shadow Blade now since the change. You should always start with extra strength. Because before uh, strength, when you would press R on a strength hero or whatever, which is what you needed to do to get strength, the strength bonus, it didn't just go with your Q, which is what I think they intended, but they didn't do that. Um, but they've changed it now so that when you press your Q, you can press your R and get strength out of it. I am the pinnacle boy. So you should always start with strength, just. Because for the early game, it pretty much makes me the strongest hero on the map, as you can see. I have 1100 HP on agility treads. My power and there's three people here. I'm restricted to everything. So I'm just gonna start running, because I might be the strongest hero on the map, but I'm not stupid. I can't, can't take on poor people. The first item I'm going to build on Shadow Blade is actually a Staff of the Master. Uh, I was skeptical of the build. I was skeptical that Staff of the Master would actually be useful, but just from reading the tooltips. But then I figured I'd put it into practice, and that it does actually uh, work extremely well on Shadow Blade, especially the fact that it lowers the cooldown on his ultimate. 
And what that enables you to do is you can switch through strength, agility, and intelligence seamlessly in fights. Which is actually really, really useful. You can give yourself extra HP, you can give yourself uh, mana steal or true strike and unit walking. You'd probably use the unit walking more than the true strike until late game when people have a wing bow. Because, you know, you just want to go faster and not get caught on anything while you're running through people. Now, because we have so much, uh, just so much HP with our strength, um, you'll notice like some people do go phase boots on Shadowblade. Some people build him a little tankier, and that makes him get into even more fights early. He can really press the action. Uh, if they actually build a tanky build and they don't press the action, they're, it's either really situational for that game, or they're just doing it wrong. Um, but I can understand in some games where maybe the enemy team has too much farm and you just started off with a build and you can't really press it, but you should usually press it if you do the tanky build. But yeah. So before they added the Sodom effect, the best build I found was agility with Nullstone and like uh, uh, a Geometer's Bane. I felt it was very safe and it was uh it gave you everything you wanted. Unrestricted to everything. And then you just build agility and become a monster that way. The, the strength and int builds were fine too. The int build I personally disliked it because of the slow attack speed. It hit very hard and it was very strong though, but you were still just a very gankable hero, so why not pick an actual int hero like Puppet if you're gonna do it? If you're gonna do that, right? This puppet would farm much faster and carry much harder earlier, so. Regeneration! Yeah, here we have 2,000 HP with our Q on. We do quite a bit of extra damage, as Bubbles is finding out. So yeah, so they're going on us right now, but we're not even that concerned. I am going to start drinking my bottle now, though. Attack. You have your... I kind of feel like my team could have done a little more there. Could have done quite a bit better. Uh, I'm just gonna buy back here. Say my name. Did you guys get some vision up there? Okay, can I get anything, please? A rocket or anything? Yeah, I, I really feel that we could add a better reaction there and done more. Um, small things like if Voodoo would hit his E there before Chrono sleeps. Uh, that should have never happened in the first place, in my opinion. So that was a pretty poor fight, considering all the stuff I just tanked for them. Alright. Evolution. 
So as, as you can see, even though I bought a hatchet, I usually almost always drop it early because the power supply and investments are... I feel very core on Shadowblade early. So that I can be that useful as I was in the last fight. Um, you get, you, because you have so much HP, you almost always get your power supply off and you almost you can always almost get like two or three of them off in a fight. So. Just, I feel it has very good synergy with how tanky you get early. So here we have a bunch of people missing. Might as well just drag this wave. This is just really common stuff. One bad mother left to tear and bones to eat. So, yeah, they were able to finish our half the master now. We're definitely not gonna finish him off. We don't have dust or really good chase ability. We have a haste rune, but no dust. I come and go in many forms. I'm trying to get there in time. Oh, okay. So here, this is where our staff, the master, is going to come in really handy. We just got our. We just got a stack. Once again, switch to agility for the power supply, switch to int for the stomp. Alright, so after this, my next item is gonna actually be Dawnbringer. Uh, you could also get a null stone as well. You could actually get a lot of things, to, and you could actually decide, like right here, which one you want to be your main at at or attribute. But just for synergy with the ultimate's sake, we're going to get Dawnbringer. So that it gives me all the mana regen I need. It gives me a, quite a bit of extra damage, move speed for chasing, and yeah, just damage in general. And hopefully, if all works well in the fights, I'll be able to switch seamlessly with my ult. Akronos does have a little bit of fire. So it's, it's really unfortunate here because they have quite a bit of levels on our team. So top lane against Kronos does not go very, very well. So because they're under leveled, I can't really trust them or fight with them consistently. Because if the enemy team just focuses me down, I'm not sure what kind of damage they're going to provide. However, I shouldn't let them take a tier 2. So, Kronos just ate that whole thing. So there I didn't get to really do anything with my ultimate. Stuck in a chrono salt silence, whatever. With all forms. So one of the things I haven't done this game that I almost always do in another game 
is when I go back to base, I'll always buy a bunch of strength items. I'll put these in the stash, buy a bunch of strength items, immediately use my uh, essence manipulation, and then I'll I'll sell the strength items and go back. I don't, I'm not sure if S2 intended for that to happen, but everybody who plays Shadowblade generally abuses it. They're like, hey, I'm back in base, I have 3,000 gold, I'm gonna buy three Mighty Blades. Sell them, and then, you know. Thank you. I'm not gonna go in there. I actually do have to go back to base. I'm back to base one second. So, just for the extra strength, we could actually do this, right? But this is pretty stingy. <laughs> so, we don't we don't really have to do that. What you going to do about it? And I shouldn't do it if it's going to waste a little bit of my time, but we're back in base anyway. So here the only problem with the build I have now is um item management. I don't really want to sell a single one of these items. <laughs> So I'm not gonna have a TP on me, which is not ideal. There is nothing you can do to Especially since I just took it off. But yeah, I didn't use Q before I used my essence manipulation there in the fountain, I guess. So that's bad. Just a little mistake on my part. So here I'm gonna get the mana piece. I should be getting the strength piece for this game, but most greedy people get the mana piece. It just increases farming a little bit, increases the mana pool, so... Everything's nice and clean on your hero so that you always have enough mana for everything. I am the pinnacle point of evolution. So here I'm gonna try and mana steal a little bit. But Kronos looks pissed. So I'm stealing, I will switch to int here to steal mana. Uh, you'll notice the int form is really beastly. <laughs> uh, I didn't get to do what I wanted there. I could have jumped to bubbles. So I feel if my team were a little more on the ball there, we could have been better. Uh, you could bite him, like, right now. I really... I really think we could have done a lot better there. A whole lot better there. Like, I, they're all, like, right behind me. We could have had so much... That's disgusting. It's, a, it's really disgusting. <laughs> The amount of time I have to wait for to get something done is ludicrous at times. Um, had Devour just turned around and bit him, he would have been dead. So, yeah, my s stream is kind of questioning what happened. <laughs> Uh, I could normally if I if I felt I was out too far, uh, I would have said I'm out too far and I caused that. But I think we could have done better there <laughs> by a whole lot. So 
I think that was just kind of a pathetic showing from the team. They weren't really ready for what I had intended. They should have just known by the position. I shouldn't have to say, yo, be ready to actually cast your spells. No, voodoo. Oh, shit. Yeah, for 11 more seconds. Solstice is still on him though. 5, Long 4, escape. 3, 2. Um. Oh god. Recharges. Let's get so I'm gonna try and burn Kronos' mana again. I got my burn! Now I'm gonna Baron Empaths and Legionnaires. So as you can see, the amount of mana you burn on Shadowblade is is just ludicrous. It really is. I'm gonna try and protect this Diva. Much pain. My power recharges. I am the pinnacle point. So as you can see, I usually start my fights off in strength, and then I change to mostly int because the mana burn is is so insane. So people, as soon as they jump in the fight, if I focus them, they can't really escape. But when I'm back to farming, I should put it back to strength. So here, because I am using the uh, int shadow bay quite a bit, I think rather than just uh, what I would what I would normally do is I would build a sheep uh, or a hellflower. I'm actually thinking for this particular game since they have th three big physical damage dealers. I might actually get a frost field first, and that'll still help me quite a bit. So I'm gonna switch to int. Totally barren legionnaire. You want have dust? No. I'm gonna steal his mana again. I'm gonna switch targets here and hope I can just keep him out of the fight. Because they have just so, so much um, physical damage, I think I... And Kronos does have a shield breaker as well, so I think I'll just go for a frost field here. Uh, this is going to help me chase them down. A sheep stick is good as well, but I, I kind of want that extra armor for when I'm in my agility or intelligence form. So as you can see, he has very little mana now. He does have a power supply, which is good for him. So while normally I'm kind of a normally I'm kind of a stat whore and I want to I want to max out Shadowblade's stats, I I, feel, I actually feel uh, Frostfield is really good here. Whereas Hellflower, it'll give me a lot of extra damage and attack speed, uh, so I might get that after. So it'll help me burn everyone's mana a lot faster. But I'm just doing this so that I I feel very comfortable, so that I don't die at all. Because I I can still die in a Chrono Salt or something if they want to focus me down. Um, can you ult? Oh, Alright. Alright, nice. 
So I'm not sure if my armor saved my life there, but you, it definitely helped me. <laughs> Thank you very much. Gotcha. Man man's up, so and this, if he goes on me, I'm expecting help this time. Yeah, well, there were four people in one spot, so I figured they were pretty stacked. <laughs> Got him. So when you do the int shadow blade build, uh, I really don't think you should skip a frost field. You can get it much later if you feel like you're not gonna die. Um, like you can get it much later. Normally I would pick it up after a sheep or a hellflower because sheep and hellflower are very useful in helping you dish out all that extra damage and kill people. But this is just something I felt that I, I, I would want for this game. Whether I needed it or not, it, you know, you could debate that. But. but I felt it was quite useful. So there, I don't like selling my power supply, but I guess I will. I don't like selling any item here, really. They've all been very, very good to me and very useful. But now I finally have. Um, Pinnacle point of evolution. Now I finally have my token, so I can probably do it quite a bit more. I can bottle it. Yeah, just bottle it for now, and we'll use it on the push. So oh, here, shit, I'm. Just get a soul? Somebody have one. Yeah, somebody got it. No, I'm gonna stack this or something. I'll just keep mine positive. Less to dare and bold. Hopefully, I, I guess it's really stacked. That one. I have two. Illusion box. Alright. I think he can keep his on negative and I keep mine on positive. Yeah, you can just do that for now. Alright, so my next item here is going to be Hellflower because that's what I, I have come. money for. Uh, sheep is also amazing, I but for this I'm, I'm not going to have money for sheep. To go on you. I just switch to agility so I can mad, run mad. a little faster back to base. Alright. Now I, I could be, I could just do like, you know, get all the intelligence in the world. Hopefully I do this fast enough. What are we doing now? Yeah. So I could do that just for my intelligence build here. Let's go. Because it would it gives me more damage and in intelligence than a Hellflower would. With all four. Alright, uh you guys pushing top? Because I'll come up there, I guess. I was gonna push yeah, bottom yeah, though. Can do the challenge. And that way we clear a tower on the way out. Yeah, yeah, take this. Make your way down here, gentlemen. Okay. No discomfort. Don't go fight without me, please. So yeah. Like doing that in the base here, Pushing since up. I do you usually Since I usually switch my alt quite a bit. Even doing that in the base isn't as useful as it was, because you don't like keep the stat on you. Alright, yeah, I'll take it. Here. Alright. Because normally I start off in strength, so... You don't have to do that intelligence stuff or whatever in base. If you're going to be switching and whatnot. 
but since I have a token, I feel pretty comfortable that I can just stay in my intelligence form. So I'm going to silence Kronos first. Champion of Newark. I'm going to murder myself on Barb Dimer. Ah, I'm in wow. intelligence form right now. But it's okay. So yeah, played that fight a little sloppy at the end, but otherwise fine. When you're just attacking people in uh, a team fight, intelligence form really does seem to be the best because first of all you're ranged, and second of all you burn just huge chunks of mana. It, it's kind of ludicrous how much mana you burn. <laughs> like you you see that as soon as like I attack someone three times, they're out of mana, as well as doing copious amounts of damage. But for the most part. At this stage, staying in the in, in form in a fight when you're not being focused seems the best. When you are being focused, you should switch to strength or go some other agility build. You can go agility as well. It'll give you a ton of armor uh, and attack speed. And if you put a symbol of rage on it, if you're being focused with that, you know, you can just get another life pretty much. I don't know which form I like the best, which is kind of cool about Shadowblade so far. Maybe if I play them 20 more times, I'll have a definite answer on that. But so far, I, I rate strength early, int mid slash late game, and agility is maybe. So maybe if you have, if other people have uh, wing bows and whatnot, it saves you getting a savage mace. Yeah, I, I do like what S2 did with the hero, where you can transition between the forms in a fight. Before using him, I almost always felt like I needed a null stone or geometer's bane. Well, I almost always felt like I needed a Null Stone just to keep his mana up going around the map so that I could fight as much as I wanted to. But with Sodom, you kind of get the extra stats that you need, though you don't get any regen. Uh, it still feels very natural, though, which is what I like. Uh, that's something I really like about the hero. The The build-up feels natural and very... So yeah, those are, those are my thoughts on Shadowblade so far. All in all, good job, S2.